Hi guys, it's Jay and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a really awesome day. In today's video, I'm gonna review the clock, a Clockwork Orange by Anthony Borges or Borges. Let's begin. I read this book over the winter break as well and as you can see it's not a very thick book so it's a pretty quick read and the storyline is pretty interesting. So the book is about a 15 year old boy who leads a very interesting life and by interesting I mean a very violent, a very atypical or abnormal life if you judge his life by our standards, you know. He steals a lot, he fights a lot and like he rapes women a lot and for him these activities are just like almost like just daily mundane activities, you know. So he almost he does at least one of them on a daily basis and he has like a little gang of friends with whom he does all these horrible things and like suddenly he gets caught and goes to jail but like because he wanted to get out as fast as possible he enrolls to this program that promises to cure the criminal minds because the scientists behind this program believe that the prison doesn't do anything good to improve the quality of life of these prisoners and the society in general. So our main character enrolls into the program and, and things change and you will see what will happen after that. So first of all the writing style. The writing style is um, an interactive one so the main character of the book he's a, a narrator. He would sometimes um, point out things for the reader and just like, you know, share his opinions about different things and like, you just feel like the character, you're, you're like con having a conversation with the character. So I think that was pretty cool, but one, like one thing that really irritated me about the writing style is the author used a lot of Russian words in the book. So, I mean, I was fine with it because I know Russian, but if people don't know Russian, I think it might be a bit uh, problematic and difficult to read this book. And like, even I sometimes found some words very confusing because they were written in a very funny way, so I had to read like a hundred pages and then be like, oh my god, that word was actually this word in Russian. So the language was pretty interesting, a bit difficult at times, a bit annoying at times, but in general it was nothing too ridiculous. So character development, second. What about, what I think about the character? Um, so I think um, the character is a bit different, or like the main character, our 15 year old boy, is a bit a bit different from everybody else. Even at the beginning of the book, when everybody else is doing all those horrible things, like, you just like, you see that like he thinks almost in the same way as all his friends, but you get the feeling that he is still a bit different from everybody else. And then when he goes through this healing therapy thingy, he changes a lot. And then he changes again. And then at the end of the book, he will realize something. I think like by the end of the book, he will get his priorities straight. He will uh, live, he will want to live a more or less normal life. And he, like, I, I think part of it was because he turned, he became older, so at the end of the book he is 18 years old, I think. So, you know, it's like, he's a bit wiser, a bit mature and everything, so he understands everything and 
de um, decides to make all the right decisions from then on. So, as I said before, this book, or like the main character is interested in a lot of violence. So obviously the storyline of the book contains a lot of violence. There will be a lot of descriptions of all the atrocities a human being can do, but they're not that extreme, so don't worry about that, but still violence in any form is bad. So if you are not interested in reading about violence, maybe this is not the best book to pick up. But then again, it, this is a classic, so it wouldn't hurt you to read it. But then if you're not interested in violence, you shouldn't really pick it up. But So it's up to you. So, um, so there are two points that I got out of this book. And the first one is kind of related to politics and like all those people who want to change the world. So if you read this book, you will see some characters who want to change the, the world into a better place and they want to change the society so that it can be just a better society, you know. But then you will see that if, say, politicians and those who claim to work for the people see the people only on papers, only in theories, and try to actually do something, they will end up harming the actual people. So I understood that if you want to work with people, if you want to do something for people, you have to actually interact with the people and not just read the books and theories about changing the society. So the second point I got out of the book is how subjective the definition of normal is. So when you read the book, you will at least encounter at least three definitions of normal. And like every, each position will arg argue that their definition of normal should be the standard, you know. So, and then obviously there is this conflict going on, like they're arguing whether they're right or like other people are right and everything and really like I don't think people can ever reach a single definition of normal and the book showed that as well and obviously our opinions change all the time but still normal is a very subjective and a very ephemeral definition so what I got out of this point is that obviously you shouldn't be too quick to judge people, you shouldn't be too quick to try to change people because you just don't know if you're doing the right thing. That is what I think about this classical work and to be honest I don't I didn't really like it but I liked like the messages behind the book but not necessarily like the plot line or the characters and everything so I just read it like you know since it's a classic if I read it it's gonna be useful to me at some point so I think that was the main reason why I finished this book thank you guys for watching me and if you have any book suggestions or book recommendations please feel free to leave them in the comment box down below and if you are inter interested in finding me on Goodreads I will put the link to my profile in the description box below and as I always say, don't forget that you are an amazing human being, beautiful inside and out and don't forget to stay warm, safe and in school. Bye guys!